welcome to today's Vega session class. Today we are going to see how we are going to create traces and stages. Once you have created the application using the application express, you will see the windows like that and you can go to the app, you can see the all the class structure created here and initially when you click on the app, I'll make you to open the your implementation layer or your work class of it. To see all the structures of your application, what you can go, you have to give your organization name and then it will give you the complete structure of your, all the classes, it's created, all the different rules is created by it. So it will see that you can see the class same is created in the organization level, then framework layer, data level, all the classes are created and your interview is your you can see your work class. So here you can see multiple classes are created. Okay. So if you can see one more the rules are is created. So mainly this is actually the main your class of your interview. So so we have created a case type. So you can see the case type rules is also created with that. So in default, the name is always comes as py default image. And to start the case, at least always the name default name for the flow is given as py start case. And default, there are three work parties will be there. So that if you can see, there is a rule called as py case management default. So at the starting of that, you can open the rule. It can show you there are three work parties are created with that like who is the owner of the work case who will be the customer and who are the interested party of it we'll see that all details in further sessions so this is really like you can see there are uh, a lot of rules are created to it now today we are now see how you are going to create the your case part so there is two way of working with the case either you can go open the py default tool of it so this will show you the subjective which will only the details view of it and either you can go to the case explorer and in the case explorer you can see the name of the case there you can go and open the same so you can see now it's opening the same rule so I'm going to close this no sorry not closing this so if you can see this here so same rule is open here so you have multiple uh, tabs at the top processes calculations stage status stages attachment category advanced and history so you can see that the starting process is named as py start case and the same rule which we have seen for case work parties, py case management default it manages the work parties rule. And if you can see case wide local actions and case wide supporting process. So this process and local action is that if you like if you want to do something on the complete case, like you are want to send a mail, you want to send attach a note or you want to change the stage in between of your case, then you can mention about uh, the local action or supporting process here. So the main thing which we are going to do is link in your stages. So if you can see, here actually we are directly seeing the primary stage and alternate stage. In previous version, there is no alternate stage like that. You have to create in action tab, there is actually you can get the alternate stage. But in recent version, you can able to see the alternate stage as added as a separate uh, layout. So now actually we are going to create our uh, stages for our applications. So here you can just go add primary stage. You can give the name of your primary stages. So now you can see there are actually like the uh, stages can be added from here. Or one more thing, actually if you click, double click on your case type, it will open a uh, case for you. And in the life cycle, you can see 
there is a new thing I click the uh, stages can be added from here so you can go add stages okay. then if you like uh, you can change collect information okay. and keep on like the all the stages if you have name of it you can just keep on on adding the stages so i'm just adding the we have six stages for our application so i'm just adding one by one of that Interview is added in the stage four. I'm doing the background check for the candidate, and then actually I'm on that actually like one decision and offer. So I named as offer, and then finally it's wrap up. Okay. So if you can see now, you have your six stages added here. And now, actually, if you here, you can see configure alternate stage. So if you add a uh, so here you can see that, like you have named as rejected. Okay, so you can see the rule here. So you have set up your six stages and one alternate stage. So the reason uh, alternate stage is, is nothing but actually like it say unhappy path actually in this normal path and unhappy path so if you have normal course of action we could call that as primary path primary stages and alternate stages are uh, like other than happy path so if you like you say in between of your background check or during the interview he is not able to uh, succeed so you want to reject that candidate so you can make the person to be rejected stage okay so this is actually the way of if you see now if you can go to your py default rule okay i'm not saving that i'm just want to reopen the rules once more so just close it from here So I'm just trying to open it once more from here. So if you can see from there, all the stages which I added, it will be reflected in the here. And really like your primary stage and lantern stages added here. Okay. So if you see uh, in your interview here, you have very less options for any configuration. Either you can only just have it delete of it. In the views, we added actually like uh, how it should be look and feel of it. So there are different forms are there. In the settings, we mainly provide what are the different level of settings available for your case. So say we actually like we have told you about case wide supporting action and user action. So this is actually if you want to handle some actually apart from normal flow your sequence of business process you want to handle some else optional process so you can give the case wide supporting process and this is actually the actions actually i tell you to attach a note email or update the case change stage can be added in the user action and in the attachment category actually you want to attach a note attach a document or attach a file attach a url the things that you can set it in the attachment category. Email instantiation. So email instantiation is that uh, you want to invoke your case directly from the email. As soon as you have received the mail, you want to instantiation your case in your system so that you can set that up. Then you have a locking concept. So in Pega 7, we have two approach of locking that is called as default locking and optimistic locking so default locking actually is mentioned that like when soon as you open the work object or your task that will be logged by the current operator 
and in optimistic locking if multiple operators are working can open that but when you have finished your work and you want to finish on submit button then it will be going to be get the acquire the log and his changes will be saved and all other users will get the warning and their changes will be not saved and they will ask to refresh the work object and then we have next is called as goal and deadline so goal and deadline is is the it will like if you can say service level so any task you are given actually that required is said that okay, you have to sub you have to complete it right actually like what time period is required to complete that so in pika terms i can be called goal deadline and past deadline so in terms of goal that is called as the optimum time to complete the case and deadline is called as the maximum time to complete the work and if it is not completed after your maximum time also then we called as past deadline so with goal and deadline we can set the urgency of the your case and we can set the escalation activity so it says that you want to notify to someone your manager you want to write some uh, increase the urgency level of it or you want to notify or uh, reassign it to some other one to so that he will take the priority of that case so you can do multiple things with the uh, if the goal or deadline activities happen the work party is actually ability to told there are uh, multiple work parties who are interested who is actually like working on that case and who is actually like owner of the work parties so in case of if you say insurance claim uh, who will be the work parties actually like the particular who was the case worker who is working on to that then the person who is made the claimant and the uh, insurance underwriters who is going to pay the claim or any other third party who will going to the do the adjusters or anything they will be part of work parties so in the example of good and bad line so if you are see actually in the purchase industry you have done the purchase and the actually says that in, it will take maximum 10 days to deliver so that is your deadline and it can be reached within 7 days so you can say that that is the goal time and after 10 days also if it is not reached then it is called as past deadline and then uh, you have a validation so validation can be applied on case in two level at the starting of the uh, your case so that is actually you can say you have a validate uh, default pega provided validate uh, function on add and then for when you are saving or updating the case you have a separate validation rule uh, you can apply on to that on saving of the your case and then pega provide one more option is called track duplicate so there is a smart save to track that out in your case essentially says that like uh, in your our interview case uh, if you can say uh, if you have the multiple candidate resume is came from different agency so so both of work objects are created and you want that okay it is for the same candidate you want to reject the other one so that is in that scenario we can track the duplicate scenario so that's the uh, all the options we have present in your settings and this all rules is getting saved on to the provide default tools only so if, uh, all of the information if you can see will be available in your provide default tool case type rule only so actually if you see attachment category advanced tab it will says about your locking okay so it's like your default locking and optimistic locking and default time period is for is 30 period for default locking and there is actually another concept is called as um, case hierarchy actually if your case has many sub cases so they will be act of the area of parent case and child case so the how locking will be applied in case of actually if you required if you are working on a child case the parent should be locked or not so that you can say do not lock the parent case when the child case is being performed okay and the process step you have the same much like the what is the starting process of putting action that we already covered okay so in the calculation if there be any fields which required we can give it 
in the case level itself. So if you open that py default rule and this is a clear supporting process. So let's cover up your case type. 